There is a prediction that there will come a time when Buddha's teachings will flourish throughout the world. With the emergence of modern Kadampa Buddhism, this time is right here and right now. This historical expansion reflects the universal compassion that lies at the heart of Buddhism. Buddha's teachings are concerned with the happiness and freedom of all living beings. They are relevant to everyone, regardless of their nationality, situation, gender, age, class or culture. Modern Kadampa Buddhism emphasizes the practical application of Buddha's teachings to modern daily life. At a time when the world is facing seemingly unsurmountable problems and people are increasingly overwhelmed and insecure, modern Kadampa Buddhism offers actual solutions to human problems, providing people throughout the world with a profound and attainable vision of happiness and world peace. How did this extraordinary development come about? Venerable Geshe Kelsan Gyatso Rinpoche is now a world-renowned Buddhist meditation master and scholar. But 40 years ago, this then little-known Buddhist monk, living quietly in retreat in India, accepted an invitation to come to the West to teach Buddhism. It was an appointment that was to herald the dawn of modern Kadampa Buddhism in this world. Arriving at Manjushri Kadampa Meditation Center, Venerable Geshila, as he became affectionately known, always showed great respect for the views of others, which enabled him to gain insight into the needs of people in our contemporary society. Combining this insight with his own profound personal experience of Buddha's teachings, Geshele gradually introduced step by step all the practices of Kadampa Buddhism, from simple, practical methods to finding happiness in our daily life, to supplying meditations that lead to the attainment of enlightenment. And he did so in a unique way, entirely suited to people of the modern world. When Geshe-la came to the West, he understood that our modern way of life is uh, quite different from the traditional way of life of Buddhists in ancient time. He understood that modern people want a direct connection with meditation in the places where they live, in the places where they work. So he established centers and temples, and more recently, city commercial space meditation centers. And in this way he established the basic foundations for modern Kadampa Buddhism, both spiritually and materially. And then later he developed an organizational structure of financial, legal and professional methods of running Dharma centers in a very ethical way for the benefit of the general public. And what this means is that Kadampa Buddhism is protected in the future. The international integrity of the organization is protected so that in the future it can continue to flourish and benefit people uh, for many generations to come. At the heart of this development are the three core study programs, the general program, foundation program and teacher training program. Geshe-la established these programs so that his vision of Kadampa Buddhism, improving the lives of people worldwide, might be realized. As a result, there are now thousands of students engaged in practical and structured study 
of Buddha's teachings. We should know that Buddha's, Buddha's teaching is the actual method to solve human problem and to accomplish the real meaning of human life. You can understand this through carefully listening to Namrim teachings. Please keep this knowledge in your heart. I came here to say this. The study and practice of Buddha's teachings, Dharma, depends on Dharma books. Understanding this as soon as possible, Venerable Geshele began composing Dharma books. His first book, Meaningful to Behold, was published in English in 1980. Subsequently, Tarpa Publications was established, and year by year, book by book, Venerable Geshele gradually produced an extraordinary body of work, comprising 23 books that clearly guide students along a complete path to enlightenment. In an age of so much misinformation and confusion, these extraordinary books, profound, clear and accessible, are a precious gift to the world, opening the door to enlightenment for everyone. It's clear that Geshe takes um, particular care to express precisely the meaning that he wants. Um, Sometimes he just changes a word or adds, adds, adds another sentence or takes out a word and so on. So it's clear that he really wants to present precisely the meaning of, um, of the Dharma. Because of course we're encouraged to, to contemplate and meditate on the meaning of that. And so if the meaning is inaccurate, um, then of course we're not going to develop the realizations and, and, and uh, be able to, to carry the Dharma on to future generations. Originally in English, the books have now been translated into 15 languages. There are now Tarpa publications in 19 countries distributing books so that more and more people worldwide have access to an authentic spiritual path in their own language. In addition to giving us these precious Dharma books, Venerable Geshe also gave transmissions and commentaries to all of them, either at international festivals or sometimes to a small group of disciples. And through this, he has ensured that Jason Kappa's teachings can be practiced and realized by the people of our modern world. Through his great kindness, our venerable spiritual guide has given to us and everyone equally the unsurpassed opportunity to develop pure wisdom and thereby to solve all our human problems permanently. Venerable Geshe's wish is to bring Dharma to the people so that they can access it easily from their homes and places of work. For this reason, Geshele began to establish Dharma centers. The first center, Majavaka Center, was established in 1979. There are now more than 1,100 centers in over 45 countries.
The International Temples Project was established in 1991 with the opening of the first traditional temple by Venerable Geshla at Manjushri Kadampa Meditation Centre. When Venerable Geshla cut the ribbon here 20 years ago, he stood here and with his hand he gestured. Everybody welcome. And we poured into this temple behind him. And the future of modern Buddhism flourishing in this world, I think, was symbolized by this extraordinarily meaningful action. It is impossible to stand here and not think of Venerable Geshe's kindness, how in his heart he sees a world filled with such temples. Under the guidance of Venerable Geshla, the Gadampa Art Studio was established at Manjushri Gadampa Meditation Centre. Through the work of the studio's skillful artists, every centre can have qualified and beautiful Buddha statues to delight and inspire the students and visitors to the centre. Through the great kindness, this Lama, uh, even an ordinary monk, monk myself, had the great opportunity to, um, to spread Gautam Dharma and Heruga uh, body mental parties and Bayayogini parties to the people of other countries, mm, you know, not Tibetan. No? Mm, my uh, opportunity is to separate in uh, Gadam Dharma, mm, uh, instructions of Gandhian oral lineage, and Heruka uh, and Bayogane parties to the people of other countries, such as Europe, people of Europe in America, Asia. And not only myself, my students also further uh, separating. Yes. This is my unusual karma, <laughs> my good fortune. If people are to gain the deep realizations of Dharma that they wish for, it is necessary for them to be able to do short 
and sometimes longer retreats. To fulfill this aim, Venerable Geshele established the International Retreat Centres. This began with a small retreat centre in Scotland, where Geshele engaged in a three-year retreat. He named the retreat centre Tarpaland. So the centres offer retreats um, which are suitable for all levels of practitioners. Uh, guided retreats, solitary retreats, short retreats, uh, long retreats. What people gain from retreat is uh, they have the focus and the space uh, to deepen their understanding and make their understanding practical so they can take it into their lives and finally uh, get actual, gain actual spiritual realisations. In 1992, the first summer festival took place at Manjushri Kadampa Meditation Centre with just 300 people. Now every year, an extensive programme of festivals and Dharma celebrations in modern Buddhism is offered worldwide, bringing together the Kadampa family and offering a glimpse of a peaceful society free from discrimination, a society of peace and harmony a society that actually works. The NKT International Festivals are the special method to maintain the International Kadampa Buddhist Union from generation to generation. We should know that this union is very important. With this union, we can fulfill our own and others' wishes easily. So please keep my message in your heart. With much love and prayers, Geshe Kelsa Ngyatsa. Buddha Shakyamuni established a tradition of ordained monks and nuns as one of the foundations of Dharma in this world. Continuing this lineage of ordination, Venerable Geshele has ordained thousands of people, so there is now a global community of ordained Sangha. To show how the practice of ordination can be relevant to today's world, Venerable Geshele has given guidelines how monks and nuns can live beneficially in modern society. Reality, my root of Kuchiandas, himself, Lama Tsongkhapa. He is the Grossomati Buddha hero. But uh, when he disappeared, still his emanation appeared everywhere. Sometimes I can say myself his emanation. I'm not saying I'm in a dream being, I'm Heruka, I'm not saying this. I can be his emanation. How? Because through my jipad, Prepared, the wisdom being of Gurusumadi Buddha Heruka and and in, into my body and abiding at my heart with the inseparable my mind. So wisdom being of Lama Tsongkhapa. 
abide in my heart, inseparable. Through this, my mind changed from ordinary mind into the supreme good heart of Bodhicitta. Because my mind became pure with a good heart, my action become pure. That makes all my activities successful. So reality, all this, so that means temporarily I myself can be uh, emanation of Jetsong Kappa, Vishram Buddha, emanation of my root guru. You can be also my emanation. Okay, same so, yeah. here. Emanation, emanated means anything. <clears throat> so through um, abiding wisdom being at our heart, um, we develop special good heart. Our action become pure. We walk in solely benefiting the living being, separating Buddha Dharma. We are emanated by enlightened beings. Through Geshla's pure example, modern people, both lay and ordained, have been inspired with the confidence and faith to gain the necessary qualities to become pure and qualified teachers of Sutra and Tantra themselves. It is Venerable Geshe's clear belief that the people of these times can develop pure compassion and wisdom, make authentic spiritual progress, liberate themselves from suffering, and eventually achieve full enlightenment. Fueled by this faith and compassion, Venerable Geshe has worked tirelessly, teaching us, guiding us, and establishing all the necessary conditions for pure dharma to continue in this world. I believe Venerable Geshe has given us everything that we need if we from our side learn to always cherish and respect each other, cherish our tradition, remain harmonious and put into practice the instructions and the example that he has given us. There is no doubt that we will gain all the realizations just like him, our holy spiritual guide. And we will be able to continue this tradition for many generations to come. The kindness and qualities of this extraordinary spiritual guide cannot be expressed. Through his meaningful life, he is bringing the possibility of enlightenment to us all.